Hello and welcome to another 3D printing video. Today we're going to be unboxing a new 3D printer. So uh, last week my dad bought the AnyCube, what is it? Cubic Photon. The AnyCubic Photon on Amazon. It was on a flash sale and it is a resin 3D printer. So the types of printers that I have are FDM, so they have a nozzle and filament, but this is a kind that uses liquid. So we're gonna be unboxing that for this video. So let's get started. goodies. Got our manual. We've got extra FEP film. Not sure what that is. That's the plastic that goes underneath the vat. Oh, okay. And uh, we've got some resin. Everything needs power. <laughs> power cord. Flash memory. Some tools. Power supply. And then we got some other tools. It's kind of nice to have it come with its own tools. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we've got a scraper. Taking the prints off the bed. A couple of different sized Allen wrenches. Some hardware. A flat blade screwdriver. And my favorite, safety stuff. Mask, gloves. Yeah, so when using a resin 3D printer, it has lots of fumes, so you don't, and, and it's kind of toxic to touch and different stuff, so you want to wear gloves and have a mask on when you're dealing with this stuff. And a nice bundle of gloves. Okay, let's kind of get ourselves organized here. Actually, let's just go ahead and open this guy up. There it is. It's a little guy. Yeah, so it has a small print bed, but with this type of printer, it can do extreme detail, which is awesome. Okay, one of the things we're gonna have to do is install the, the knob on there, and some of the other pieces, if I can get it out, are inside. Here's your build platform. So that's the area you've got to build with. Not giant. But it's, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty small build space. And it prints it upside down so it sticks like that and pulls it up. Filters. Oh, for reusing the resin. Are these reusable filters or one, one well, use? I think they're probably one use. Just to fill, like if you have a failed print and you need to put like a debris mm -hmm. inside, oh, yeah. you can filter it out and reuse the resin. This is very, very cool. And then this is the vat, it's simple. So this is what you pour the resin in, fill it up like a little, uh, like a little tiny swimming pool. This guy will come down and start the print and it will slowly basically pull it out of the liquid until it's complete. Okay, so our next steps is uh, powering it up and then getting the platform level. Okay, here we go, a moment of truth. Okay, nothing smoked. There it is. And unlike either of my other 3D printers, this one has a touch screen for its little screen. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's small, but it's, uh, it is, it's useful. It's not too small to be a pain. Okay, so I'm just moving the Z-axis up, just kind of getting it out of the way. So we're going to want to level this little build platform. Mount it up good and solid, and that is like on a little gimbal so it can move around. And then... Does it to be able to move while it's 3D printing? Is no, it you want to mount it. That's, okay. for, that's for setting its level, uh, okay. so that it's flat. 
against the screen. You want a piece of paper for leveling it? Yep. We're going to slip the paper underneath there, and then by increments of 0.1 millimeter, we're going to drop it down. Okay, so that feels like there's enough resistance there. Now I'm going to use the Allen wrench, and I'm going to try to put even pressure on this guy. Not too tight. Looks like it's a little bit tight in the back. Is that the thick? Is the paper the thickness of the film? Uh, it might be. That might be the why they're using. Probably don't need to be this finicky, but kind of get perfectionist on stuff. Should be good. Paper's moving good. The other ones are knobs. So you, I usually don't do it by 10 millimeters because if you twist it the wrong direction, it'll smash it down. Because you could, because it's on up and a down. It's clockwise or kind of clockwise. Yeah, I like this one. Although I have read that if you cue it up like what I just did, it, it doesn't know where to stop. Oh. So you don't just let it run away. Okay, so now we're ready for the next steps. We need to just put the vat in. We're going to print a lattice cube. It's queued up and ready to go. So now all we got to do is uh, put some stuff in there. Okay. Ready? Some, yep. We got some clearish green resin that came with the printer. We have to get ourselves ready for this. It now it just goes by itself. That's it. Okay, so we'll check back when the print's done. Okay, so the print finished. It took about six hours, and we're going to get it off and clean it up. What we're going to do is we're going to give it a place to get washed. We wash it in 99% isopropyl alcohol. So there it is. And is it flimsy at this point? A little bit. Okay, it's a little bit springy. Sometimes what I like to do is... Stuff so expensive. Mm-hmm. I will. Okay, so the camera shut off because it ran out of battery. But what he did is he put it in this vat of... Isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol and rinsed it off. Cleaned up. Um, because he messed up the the, the bed, he had to level it, and he got that. And right now the print is cleaned off, and it's sitting in the sun to cure. Um, sometimes you can have little light enclosures or whatever to, to cure it with, with light. UV light? Mm -hmm. <laughs> UV light. Um, but we got the sun out there, so we're using that as much as we can. And that's going to do it for this video, so thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, smash that like button. If you like 3D printer stuff, check out my other videos. If you like it enough, subscribe to the channel. And... Leave a comment whether you like resin printers better or maybe an FDM printer. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.